Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to a new challenge I'm doing here in 7 Days to Die. This is called One Shot Kill. We just spawned into a random gen world. The seed for this world is One Shot Kill. All one word, capital O, capital S, capital K. And in this challenge, I had the XML file edited so any entity in the game can kill us with one shot. That goes for snakes, crawlers, pigs, birds, cop puke, bird puke, all that stuff can take us out with one hit. Now we can't do ourselves in, let's say I accidentally walk into some spikes or fall off a rooftop, um, unless I fall off a really high rooftop, fall damage won't kill me. It has to be from a hit from an enemy or entity, however you want to say it. So uh, real quick, huge shout out to Just Tay for editing the XML file for me and providing that. And if you want to download the XML file yourself and try this, you can. The link to that is down below. You can download the XML file along with instructions on how to implement it into your game and also how to put the default XML back so you can play normally and not get one-shotted by everything in the fucking game. Alright, I see a bird nest over there. Let's go get a feather so we can knock out these initial quests. And now the settings for this challenge are Warrior Difficulty, Blood Moon every five days, Zombie Day Speed is set to Jog. I didn't want to do Walk and Run seemed kind of intense for our first attempt anyway. Uh, I disabled Loot Respawn Time, not that that matters. I don't think we're going to be alive long enough for Loot to respawn. And Blood Moon count is maxed out at 64 enemies. Everything else is default. Let's get this campfire put down. Bam! And these initial quests are complete. We will get four skill points for doing that. So let's spend them. I'm going to go Strength Level 2. I'm going to go Archery Level 1. And uh, let's go, let's go Sexual Tyrannosaurus, level 1, and Javelin Master, level 1. Now, let's craft some spears. I'm going to craft three of them. And let's craft a bow again. This time it'll be a level 2. And we get this note out of here. Bring the spears down and bring the bow down. Let's get that thing loaded up. And I guess we can just drop the note off in here. We don't need that shit. Um... The land claim block, well, we don't really need that either because we can always craft another one. It only costs five stone to craft a land claim block, so we'll leave that in there too. We can craft another one once we find ourselves a home. All right, let's head down the road this way towards the trader. Take the cloth. I'm good on the other stuff. Let's see what we got in here. Stone, okay. Okay. Now, the reason I'm calling this a challenge and not a series is because I may very well die here on day one. It's highly likely that I will, actually. And if I do, I want to try this again, so that's why I'm calling it day one, attempt one. And if I die, then we'll try it again, and it will be day one, attempt two. We'll just document the day I die and the time I die and how many zombies I've killed in that time and then we'll try and beat that record you know what i mean it doesn't have to be consecutive if we die today we can try this again i don't know next week or whatever if we do well then maybe we'll try it again next month it, it's that's why i said it's just a challenge it's not really a series I'll take the plastic parts and the headlights, whatever we can sell, because we are headed to the trader. Now, we could cut across this grassland here towards the trader, but I'd rather take the road in and get a look at the town, see what we're working with. Some iron. Oh, I just spotted a chicken. Where'd it go? I don't know. Let me grab this uh, bird nest, though, real fast. There we go. Hey, stripper! Seen any cocks around here? What am I saying? Of course you have. Eh, hey, there's a chicken. Bam! Dead. You want some too, lady? Huh? No? Fine then. You keep walking away. I don't want to die by a stripper anyway. Oh, here she comes. 
Well, let's see how many spears it'll take. One. Wasn't enough. Two. Took her down, but she's still alive. Three. Holy shit. Three spears in her, and she still wants more. She's a trooper. I'll give her that. Hey, give me those back. Oh, this is going to be rough. I'm telling you. At least we're getting some meat here and a bunch of feathers so we can make more arrows. We got to make as many arrows as possible. Keep our distance from these fucks. Uh, here we go. Oh, one knocked her down. Two did her in. Two spears to the face. That was too much for her. Uh, scrap the nail, take the wood. Oh, there's a chicken over there. And Kenny. Uh, let's do it. We gotta get the chicken. More meat and more feathers. Nice. And we gotta take care of Kenny. There's no way around it. Surprise, Kenny! Oh, spear in the ass. And one in the face. He's still not done. There you go. Two in the face and one in the ass. Well, how else do you think he pays for his meth? No, oh, we're on a roll here this morning. Too bad this wasn't a chicken killing challenge. Scrap, scrap, take, and I'm waking zombies up, so we need to be careful here. I just want to search this mixer and workbench real fast, though. Uh, scrap that for the stone, and here comes a zombie. Oh, take all that shit. And let's just run. Run away. Hey, there's another chicken. You know, we're not going to run away all the time. We got to fight. We got to get kills. We got to get XP. But I wasn't sure how many more zombies were going to come out of that POI. So, uh, you know, we got to be cautious if we want to live. Here comes Mo at a very slow speed. Not worried about him. Oh, I also gave myself a helmet light mod so you guys can see when it gets dark. Repair kit and some gunpowder. And I would like to do a little bit of looting before we go see the trader so we can sell some stuff and get some coin right off the bat there. We gotta make some more arrows. And uh, we picked up an iron sledgehammer. I'm just gonna scrap that thing. 71 more arrows. Look at that shit. All right, um, hold on. Uh, eat the egg, scrap the sledgehammer. Here comes Kenny. Big buns. Oh my god. We need to check this place out. Are you kidding me? Plastic parts, and we better take care of Kenny. You know Kenny's headed to big buns. He likes big buns, and he certainly ain't gonna lie about it. Scrap the can, take the flashlight. Let's bring this level three spear down, and let's just have four spears down here. Fuck it. Hold on to that torch also. We got some cloth. Let's make uh, a bandana. There we go. And uh, that's good. Front door is unlocked. Shit. Stone arrows are ass, man. Dead. All right. That's good. Oh, waking more up. Hey, an ATM. That's the first time I've ever seen one of those. Everyone's been telling me about ATMs. Oh, look at that. That's Javelin Master right there, baby. Waking more up. Make some more arrows. Oh, shit, I can't. All right. We got enough right now. We got enough. Come on, Kenny. Oh, man, they're piling out now. Yes. Oh, shit. Stamina. Oh, my God. Not good. I, I didn't realize uh, how much stamina throwing spears cost. We got to be careful about that. Why can't I hit this guy with a fucking arrow? There we go. All right. Mental note. Throwing spears costs a lot of stamina. We need to be careful about that. Oh, is that the main stash already? Let's just take our time. Because there may be more zombies in this place. Uh, 
All right, we got this ATM here, which is locked. I'm assuming we can lock pick it, right? Yep, if we had lock picks. Otherwise, it's 5,000 hit points to break into it. Oh, here we go. Is that in here or outside? Might be outside. Oh, shit. There's a spider zombie right here. No, oh, it's mad. It is mad. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Close the door. Fuck, dude. This is not good. Oh, my God. Die, you fuck. Wow. This is trouble. Oh, my God. Get inside. I got no stamina. Oh, shit. It won't die. I'm waking more zombies up now. This is the end. Close the door. Holy shit, crawler. Leave me alone, please. <laughs> I got spears all over the place. I think two of them are still inside the, uh... The spider zombie. Come on, crawler. Like, I need you in my life right now. Just trying to get my stamina back. Oh, man. I really want to deal with that spider zombie first. Oh, my God. How did it not kill me? It took a swing at me. And, uh, somehow I avoided it. Oh, shit. I wish there was a door to close. Oh, there's one right here. Close that door. Oh, thank God there are no more zombies in here. Shit. This is going to be risky. Close the door. Oh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Close the door. Oh, my God. The spider zombie got through. Holy shit. Wow. How did we not just fucking die right there? Get up here. Okay, now, kill the spider zombie. I can calm, I'll calm down a bunch more if we can just get this thing dead. Come on. Oh my god. They're gonna blow this van up. They're hitting the van. This thing's gonna blow up, and we're gonna die. Holy shit. Come on, I don't wanna jump down there. Oh, we have to. Oh my god. What the fuck? I tell you what, though, this is the way the game should be played. <laughs> My heart is just pounding right now. Oh, I thought that was it. Come on. Oh, thank God. Holy shit, we can take a breath for a second. Wow. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Why am I so bad? What the hell? I can't hit shit. My fucking hands are shaking, that's why. Dude, spider zombies are not to be fucked with in one shot kill, I'll tell you that. She's dead. Oh. Well, I think Big Buns is cleared out now, so that's good. Alright, let's see if we can find our spears. Here's one of them. We had four. Might have to craft uh, some more. There's another one over here. I want to uh, search this van. Oh, that crawler's still around. Nice. Take all that shit. Even with the crawler, we gotta be careful. You know, you get too close to them, they can get one of those, like, phantom hits on you, and uh, that's it. Game over. Stone. Let's get back into Big Buns through the front. What about this door here? Uh, that just leads to the main room also. Let's get in here. Close that door. Oh, shit. Damn, I thought this place was cleared out. Guess it wasn't. Man. Stripper takes spears for a living. I, gotta, I keep forgetting. <laughs> that guy's dead. She is pissed off now. Come on! Die! What the fuck, man? Why can't I hit anything with these stone arrows? Oh, man, I should have practiced more. There we go. Uh, come here, buddy. Get stuck right there. Yes. Okay. Take him out. Boom. All right, give me all this shit back. We're still missing two spears. Probably should just, uh, craft two more. 
Another thing to think about when you're about to throw a spear is take a quick look at the stam your stamina. You know, that's what I'm trying to... Oh, we need plant fiber. You know, because you throw a spear with only like 30 stamina, then that's all your stamina, and you're going to be in trouble. Uh, I throw the cloth in there too, I guess. And let's get some more arrows crafted. There we go. Okay. Let's grab these chairs. Oh, can't grab that one. It's been damaged. Let's grab this main stash here. Bandage. I'm good. Not going to need any bandage or first aid. There is a pipe machine gun, though. That is beautiful. Let's bring that thing down. We got 14 rounds for it. 10% more damage against bears. I'll read that. Let's get this thing loaded up. 14 rounds, better than nothing. Nice. Take a look at that stuff in a second here. Beer, I'm good. Yucca juice. All right. Uh, robots and stun batons degrade 20% slower. We'll read that. Uh, the switch schematic, though, I'm going to just sell. I don't think we'll be using any switches. Scrap the cans, leave the lead. Hey, there's a spear. Might as well harvest the rest of the leather couches. Leather cells. Hey, that's not bad. Probably scrap those frames, though. Yeah, we can always craft more if we need them, and it looks like we can get up on the roof this way. Not sure if there's anything up here, but we might as well check. Please don't be any birds up here. Looks like nothing. All right. Splint, I'm good. Let's get to the trader. What's up, Joel? Good to see you, buddy. I got some stuff to sell you here. All right, what do you got for sale here? Uh, 762, that's pretty much all I'm interested in. I'll buy as much as I can afford. 25 rounds. Nothing Thanks to brag about, here. but whatever. Uh, I don't want to do any buried supplies. Let's do I this fetch quest. It's speed. the closest one that isn't a buried supplies. Let's head down that way. And we're going to pass right back by Big Buns. So you know what? We're just going to live at Big Buns. I mean, why wouldn't we live at Big Buns? There's an ATM machine there, so we can break into it slowly but surely. So let's go uh, set that place up as home, drop down some storage, and then we'll see if we can get this job done before nightfall. All right, let's get a front door put in and some hatches put in all around, get this place nice and secure, put down some storage, drop some shit off, and then, like I said, we'll go see if we can knock this job out. Be nice if we can knock out the job and go get our reward before Joel closes, so we can take another job that we can do in the morning. And this way we don't have to wait for him to open. We can just go right for the job. All right, let's get a move on. Hey, lady, Big Buns is closed right now. Come back later. I'm just realizing as I was putting stuff in storage, I don't know why I didn't sell my first aid and that antibiotic that I picked up. I'm not going to need any of this shit. What's the point of first aid or antibiotics? The only way you can get infected is by getting hit, and one hit, we're dead, so I'm not going to need any of that shit. We can sell it all to Joel. And uh, another thing to consider is armor. No reason to wear heavy armor, right? We're still going to get killed with one hit. So why let that shit slow us down? 
Now I would consider putting on light armor if we have mods for that armor that makes sense, like pocket mods or possibly those mods that decrease the amount of noise we make. We got a bird right here. And uh, speaking about noise, I'll probably start putting skill points into stealthy shit as well. Uh-oh. I think that's outside, though, not in the POI. Yeah, definitely outside, beating on the wall. Let's get in here and then close this door. Oh, shit, we can't close that door. We got a zombie on the other side of this wall, and I bet we got one here as well. All right, let's do it. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's get a hatch put down at this doorway. Needle and thread book footwear. Everyone needs shoes. I'd agree with that. Plastic parts. Oh, steroid and recogs. I'm good on that splint. And let's take care of this zombie before it breaks in. Uh, first aid kits. Those would be nice to find on day one. We're going to sell those, though, because, like I said, we don't need any of this first aid. Nothing there. Okay, let's do it. If shit gets crazy, we can always get behind that hatch. And we'll be somewhat safe. Nice. Stone arrows, not doing so bad. After all that shit I talked, that's just the floor giving out. Luckily, that didn't wake up any other zombies, though. Uh, I'll scrap that. Nothing there. There's probably a zombie in the laundry room, though. There we go. Skinny Pete. Dead. Beautiful. Let's uh, close that door. Loot the kitchen and the laundry room. We could get the hell out of here. I see the uh, supplies are here in the kitchen as well. We can grab these. And then uh, we may have enough time to grab the main stash and get back to Joel's. That'll be good. Bone, cooking pot. That is nice. I'm going to have to put a point into Master Chef now so we can make some boiled meat tonight. There's an arrow. Uh, where's the plug? Up here. That's the plug. Weapons bag. Nice. Take those parts. I'm good on the buckshot. Another arrow. Any zombies in here? Yep, we got Mo. Let's see if we can deal with them here at the door. Is he gonna hit the door? No. <laughs> He's just standing there. Down he goes. Yes. Okay. Three spears will usually do it. If you can hit him in the head every time. Clear. Pipes. Use those to repair our pipe machine gun or craft another pipe weapon. Which, um, the pipe pistol, I don't know about that. I mean, we do have some 9mm, so if that's the only thing we can get our hands on that shoots 9mm, better than nothing. Uh, the pipe shotgun, again... If we have shotgun shells and that's the only thing that can shoot shotgun shells, it's better than nothing. However, it's risky, the pipe shotgun, just because it takes a while to reload. So does the the pipe pistol. Oh, no zombies up there. Okay. Oh, this is uh, all these um, 
landmines should take care of these zombies. Oh! Oh, see you later, fuckers. Oh, shit. Moe's dead, and now we just got some crawlers. Not a big deal. Like I said, though, I don't like to get too close to the crawlers because sometimes they get that phantom hit on you. And uh, that would be the dumbest way to die, right? Uh, okay. Oh, uh, this one's getting a little close. <laughs> Fuck that. Let's go down. I do not want this challenge to end by a crawler. I mean, it's most likely going to end some stupid way anyway. You know? But we're going to try our best. I think we're doing okay. I think so far, so good, right? I mean, that whole mess in front of Big Buns, I can't believe we didn't die there. I mean, at this point, any time past the Big Buns incident is just borrowed time. <laughs> you know, this should have been over already. Honey, hey, that's another thing we don't need to kind of hold on to. We can just eat it when we're hungry because, again, we don't need it to clear up any type of infection. Nice! First try. Look at that. Ooh, some gold. And uh, let's bring that level 4 bone knife down. I'm going to hold on to these bolts, too, in case we get a crossbow. Any ranged weapon we can get our hands on, we're going to use or make use of. Uh, and we didn't break any lockpicks. We still have three of them, so we can use those to try and break into the ATM tonight. Uh, let's just go out this way. We got an hour to get back to Joel's. Here, let's take this steroid. Faster we can run, the better. Oh, well, we made it. Now let's do our dealings and see if we can get home before nightfall, because zombies do run at night. Let's not forget about that. What up, Joel? Trigger group, semi-automatic mod, or the bar brawling book? I'll take the bar brawling book and just sell that back to him. Along with some other stuff here. I want to sell that scrap leg armor, but I'm not going to do it yet because I want to repair it first. Be with you, my friend. Uh, well, we're going to do the clear zombies because I don't want to mess around with buried day. supplies. Not yet, home. anyway. And we'll do that in the morning. Oh, boy. Shit, Joel's going to kick me out. Yep. There we go. Okay. I didn't want him to kick me out in a weird place where we get stuck and wind up taking hits from these zombies. Come on, now. Damn, not dead yet? Oh, he's dead. Alright, Joel. I'm leaving. What a day. And now it's night, and we got runners. Oh, and a rabbit. Alright, do we even have a skill point? I believe we do. Yeah, let's go Master Chef. Where's Master Chef? Here we here it is. We shouldn't be doing this out here at night. Not the smartest move. Holy shit! Oh fuck! Wolf! Um, there's no way out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh here. Up. Oh, we need to get to high ground. I don't think this is high enough. Oh, uh, let's use the gun. I forgot I had a gun. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Stay there, wolf. You stay right there. Yes. Holy shit. All right. We can outrun the zombies. Ah, home sweet home at Big Buns. Uh, there were some zombies following me. I don't know if they gave up or not. It uh, appears they did. All right, then. Shit. Well, we survived day one, miraculously. Uh, let's get a campfire crafted and put down. We can cook uh, some meat this evening. And uh, I'm just going to do some cleaning up around here. And we'll pick things up on the morning of day two. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. I don't know how much more there's going to be, but I'll do my best. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. 
Stick around for more one-shot kill, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.